Because I'm a veteran and I'm a disabled veteran, I believe that we are supposed to support America and we're supposed to take care of this country. And that's, to me, that's what the Convention of States is all about, is trying to defend our country against the various things that are going on in Washington today. I got involved with Convention of States uh, actually by accident. I was surfing the internet and uh, kind of reading comments from various folks about various things going on with COVID and all the situation that's going on right now. And somebody had mentioned Convention of States, which I had never really heard of. And they encouraged me to go read it and had put out the actual link to it. So I went on the web and read all about Convention of States, got very interested, uh, signed a petition before I actually talked to anybody. And then after I signed a petition, I was contacted. And I came back and said, um, you know, this is a pretty interesting situation. When I was contacted, they asked me if I would be willing to assist, and I absolutely stepped up right away. Um, as a service-disabled veteran, I feel that I'm still trying to protect my country, and I really think it needs it right now. Uh, my biggest frustration with Washington, D.C. is just all of this fighting, infighting, constantly fighting. Nobody wants to sit down and negotiate and figure things out. And every time they pass a bill, it might be a bill for something minor, uh, half a million dollar thing, which, of course, to some people doesn't sound minor, but to Washington that is. But by the time that bill goes through, it comes out at two million dollars. And it's got all of this pork added on, etc which I think is not necessary. I think what we need to do is we really need to look at things. We need to live within a budget. We need to have term limits so that people won't be there forever. We need new ideas. We need to make our country better, always better. I understand there's 15 states already that are ratified. Michigan would be the 16th state. I'd love to see that happen. I really want to support my grandchildren and make sure that they're taken care of in the future. And I feel that the way things are going right now with the money being spent and uh, basically like water, it's just flowing and flowing. My grandchildren are going to be paying, my great-grandchildren will pay, and you know, etc. And I don't want that. I really want to get control of America, uh, start paying off our debts instead of incurring more costs constantly, and control our budget and make sure that we live within that budget. First, of course, they should sign a petition, hopefully make a small donation to help us out, because we do need a lot of materials to help pay for it, etc. But then, beyond that, talk to your friends, your family, your neighbors. Promote this activity. Get people to understand what it's all about and realize that they can fix Washington. I think a lot of people are so frustrated, they feel that it'll never get fixed. But it's up to us. It's up to us as Americans to do that. I'm here live in Philadelphia at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. When you hear the phrase, lives, fortunes, and sacred honor, these are the folks we should think of, those who anonymously gave their lives. Well, today you have a chance to volunteer. You need to volunteer for conventionofstates.com, the movement that's going to save the country. These folks were willing to step up and give everything. We need you to give just a little bit. Go to conventionofstates.com and volunteer today.